25th playing of the Big Thursday Football Classic between Clemson College and the University of South Carolina. It's a warm, rainy October afternoon. Temperature about 70, with a light breeze coming out of the southwest. The stands are jammed to capacity, a crowd of 44,000, the largest to ever watch a football game in the state of South Carolina. The Clemson Tigers coming on the field. And the Clemson band strikes up. The University of South Carolina Gamecocks out for their pre-game calisthenics. At this stage, the sky is overcast, but the tension mounting as the kickoff nears. And now, a last-minute panic by the Clemson cheerleaders across the way. Now the co-captains meet at midfield for the toss of a coin. The Gamecocks win the toss, elect to receive the kickoff. Clemson defends the South Pole and Paget boots off for Clemson. Eddie Bell and End returns for South Carolina, runs back 15 yards to the Gamecocks 44-yard line. It's halfback Alex Hawkins going straight ahead for three yards. Brought down to Gurdjian and Padgett on the 47, second and seven. The rain is now coming down. The umbrellas are up. Three plays and a first down later. It's King Dixon going to the right side. Eludes one tackler is hit and is run out of bounds. And the ball is on the Clemson 41. South Carolina in possession. And Stan Spears, the quarterback, gives to his fullback, Don Johnson, over the left side of his own line. He finds room to move and picks up yardage down the middle. An incomplete pass and another four-yard carry by Johnson. And a pitch out now goes to Alex Hawkins. And he's brought down as he hits the Clemson 28-yard line. Now the rain really starts to come down. The umbrellas go up again, and the fans put on the raincoats. While well, the Clemson Tigers stop the drive, they take over on their own 24-yard line. The handoff going to Rudy Hayes, the fullback, over the left side of his own line, picks up three yards, stopped by co-captain Nelson Weston of the Gamecocks. And after Hayes carries again for three more, the Clemson Tigers, with Barbary at quarterback, now call on Robert Chatlin. And the speedy halfback picks up yardage across the 35, out to the 37, where it's Clemson's ball, first down and 10 yards to go on their own 37. No score here on the first quarter. Gamecox in a 5-4-2 defensively. Handoff goes to halfback Charlie Horn, who dies straight ahead. For four yards, brought down to Addison and John Rogers. Up on the Clemson 41, with second down, seven yards to go. Pitch out to Charlie Horn to the left side. Eludes one tackler. And he's good for five yards. Addison and Kampara bring him down on the Clemson 46. And the fans hanging on every play. A crowd of 44,000. Fourth down coming up now for Clemson. So Charlie Horn goes back to boot it. Gets a good kick away, and the ball goes out of bounds on the Gamecock six. Well, the first quarter ends with neither team seriously threatening, and the score at the end of the first period, nothing-nothing. Now midway in the second quarter, the Gamecock first and ten, a scoring opportunity on the Clemson 38-yard line. Warren Gazay now has his starting unit back in the football game. The counter play with the fullback, Don Johnson, up the middle for five yards to the Clemson 33. It'll be second down and five for the Gamecocks on the Tigers 33. It's the halfback from Lake City, Hayward King, to the right side, collides with the Clemson tackler that rolls on for four yards to the Clemson 29. It's third and one, and Frank Howard 
The Clemson coach there looks just a little bit worried. Third and one on the Clemson 29, and Stan Spears drives down the middle for three yards and a first and ten on the Clemson 26. Still no score here in the second quarter of the big Thursday football game. A pitch out to Hayward King behind Hawkins and picks up three yards around his own right end of the Clemson 23-yard line. It's now second down and seven, and the Gamecock fans chant go, go, go. Hand off to Alex Hawkins. And the right half by back cross bucking to the left side is finally brought down by Barbary and Fuel, but he picks up six yards to the Clemson 17 yard line. Alex Hawkins, the right half back going straight ahead, brought down by Ray Masneri, picks up four yards for a first and ten on the Clemson 13. Now it's Hawkins again to the left side. Picks up two yards and the ball is on the Clemson 11 yard line. Second down, eight yards to go and the Clemson players, as you can see there, look just a little bit worried. Now the Gamecock lineman going shoulder to shoulder as Clemson moves that defense around. To Don Johnson, 87, Ray Masneri makes a beautiful defensive play for Clemson. And it's a key play, a three-yard loss, back to the 14-yard line. Gamecocks ball, third and 11. A pitch out to Dixon. Eludes one tackler, fires a pass in the end zone, and it's knocked down incomplete. Broken up by Barbary, the quarterback. So it's now fourth and 11 for the Gamecocks on the Clemson 14-yard line. Stairs to Hawkins to the left side. The pass is in the end zone. It's incomplete. Broken up by Charlie Horn. And Clemson stops the drive and takes over on the Gamecock 14-yard line. Handoff goes to Mike Dukes, the fullback. Picks up good yardage from the 14 out to the 28-yard line, where he's stopped by Frank Destino. First and ten for Clemson on their own 28. And the Tigers are now on the march. Harvey White rolling out the throw, elects to run. And the sophomore speedster from Greenwood travels 21 yards all the way to the Gamecock 43-yard line. Brought down by McLean at first and ten. No score, but the Tigers are on the march. White fires a perfect strike to Mathis against the sideline, and he is out of bounds on the South Carolina 15-yard line. It's first and 10. And now it's time for the Clemson fans to be mighty happy as White rolling out to the right side fires to Crisenberry in the flat. At the 7, he's got it, and he's in the end zone for the touchdown. And it's Clemson 6, South Carolina nothing. And the Clemson fans are really up on their feet. The try for the extra point for Barbary is wide of the upright. And the score remains Clemson 6, South Carolina nothing. A second of football as the University of South Carolina Gamecocks break back on the field. Trailing Clemson at halftime by a score of 6 nothing. There is head coach Warren Gaze. And Clemson, with the option of kicker-receive, elects to receive the kickoff. As we start the second half, co-captain Julius Derrick, who makes his home in Columbia, will kick off for South Carolina, a senior playing his final Big Thursday game. Clemson will defend the South goal, South Carolina defending the North goal. Jerry kicks off a short kick, Ray Mathneri, Takes it on his 30, steps out of bounds on the 35-yard line. Clemson's ball, first down and 10 yards to go. The Tigers lead 6-0. Hand off to Bob Spooner, the fullback, over his own left tackle. Picks up three yards to the 38, second and seven.
Now the play goes to the right side, pitch out to Charlie Horn, but the defense catches up with him. Brought down by Addison, Bell, and Weston for a three-yard loss. And the ball is right back on the 35, where it's third and ten for Clemson. Pitch out to Charlie Horn. The pass is to Robert Chaplin. Makes the grab, and the play covers 16 yards. The ball first and ten in Clemson's possession on the Gamecocks. 49-yard line. Clemson first and ten on the Gamecocks, 49. Backward pass to Chatlin. To the right side, flips to Charlie Horn. It grabs the ball against the sideline, steps out of bounds, and it's first and ten. Clemson on the South Carolina 31-yard line. Third quarter of the ball game. Clemson ahead by a score of 6-0, and now the Clemson fans take up that familiar chant of go, go, go. Hand off to Robert Chaplin. He makes three yards to the 28-yard line, brought down by Don Johnson. Now six plays later, Spooner carries five yards from the 17 to the 12-yard line, where it becomes third down and three. Third and three for Clemson down on the Gamecock 12. And Bob Spooner, number 34, makes the first down as he carries to close to the five-yard line. There you see Clipping at the top of the screen. Clipping against Clemson takes the ball back to the 20-yard line, where for Clemson it becomes first down and goal to go. So Bob Spooner, the fullback, for two yards to the Gamecock 18-yard line. Second and goal to go for Clemson on the Gamecock. 18, Clemson leads 6 nothing. So with long yardage, Bobbery rolls out, fires a pass, and it's a little bit too tall for the intended receiver, Chapman. It's incomplete. Third and goal to go. Harvey White now comes in a quarterback, tries to run with it, and he is stopped cold on the 18-yard line by Julius Derrick. So it's fourth and goal to go from the 18. And fullback Doug Klein comes in to attempt a field goal. The ball will be held on the 28. Kick at a slight angle. The kick is high enough, but it is wide of the upright. No good. And South Carolina will take over first and 10 on their own 20-yard line. Score 6 nothing here on the third period. Clemson leads. Handoff to Don Johnson, the fullback, up the middle for six yards to the 26-yard line. Now a few plays later, a pitch out to Hawkins, running to the right side. Fires the pass to King Dixon. It's complete, and he is bumped out of bounds up on the South Carolina 46-yard line. Now something you'll see now and then on a big Thursday game, one of the Clemson fans coming across the field trying to steal the megaphone of the Carolina cheerleaders, and now he is giving a convoy across the field, back to friendly territory, the Clemson side of the field. Now the Gamecocks are forced to boot after not being able to move from their 46, and a fair catch is called for by Clemson on the Clemson 28-yard line. Now our camera moves right down on the field, a player's view of the action. As Rudy Hayes, the fullback, slants off his own left tackle, picks up six yards. And it's Clemson's ball, second and four on their 35-yard line. Hayes again picks up four yards this time for first and ten out on the 39. Sophomore quarterback Harvey White fires the pass down the field, a long one. Whitey Jordan grabs it. Looks like he's touched down bound, and suddenly the ball pops out of his arms. Out of bounds on the one-foot line. It's Benson's ball. First down and goal to go. The play to Whitey Jordan covering 60 yards. Harvey White to the right end, Whitey Jordan. Benson ahead by a score of 6 nothing, with a big scoring opportunity. First and goal to go on the Gamecocks. 
one foot line. And on the first play, Hayes bells over right tackle for the touchdown. The score is now Clemson 12, South Carolina nothing. And the Clemson fans are a mighty happy group as Harvey White splits the upright for the extra point. But across the way, head coach Juan Gaze of the Gamecocks looking just a little bit worried. Now play resumes in the fourth period with King Dixon back to boot it for South Carolina. The score is Clemson 13 and the Gamecocks nothing in the big Thursday meeting. And the ball rolls dead on the Clemson 13 yard line. The Tigers ball first and 10. Bob Spooner, the fullback over the right side of his own line, spins for five yards to the 18 yard line. It'll be second down and five. To the halfback, Essary, and he's brought down for a one yard loss by Addison, and the ball set back to the Clemson 17. Thompson's ball, third and six. Pitch out to Charlie Horn, running wide to the left side. Finally knocked out of bounds by Don Johnson after a three-yard pickup to the Clemson 20. But with fourth and three coming up, of course, the Clemson Tigers will be booting, and Charlie Horn gets the kick away. Ball's grabbed by Alex Hawkins, brought down immediately by Ray Mathneri. Now late in the fourth quarter, the Gamecocks are back on their own 25-yard line. And the play coming up is the play Warren Gaze, head coach of South Carolina, refers to as his alumni play. Pitch out to the end, Derrick, who's going back to throw. He's a long pass intended for Dixon, and it's intercepted by Mathis. And he's all the way to the Gamecocks. 13 yard line, Crimson's ball, first down and 10 yards to go. And again, you can see the joy and the Crimson stand. Their ball clubs in front, 13 nothing. They have the ball, first and 10 on South Carolina's 13 yard line. Mathis carries for two yards to the 11 yard line. It'll be second down. Eight yards to go as the Clemson Tigers break out of the huddle. Harvey White attempting to pitch out, but this time there's a fumble, a scramble, and South Carolina recovers on their own 17 yard line, first and 10. Carolina, five plays later, is penalized back to the 19-yard line. So the Gamecocks have to boot it. King Dixon punts the ball to Charlie Horn, who calls for a fair catch on the Gamecocks 45. Now the fullback, Rudy Hayes, up the middle for five yards. And time is starting to tick away, as you can see on the scoreboard clock, just over a minute left to play. Clemson taking as much time as they possibly can. Harvey White hand off, hands off to the fullback. Goes down the middle for about two or three yards. And again, the seconds are ticking away. Clemson now only seconds away from a big Thursday win. And the quarterback, Harvey White, sneaks up the middle for five or six yards. And the fans slowly but surely edging toward the field. And the clock runs out. The big Thursday football game is all over. It's a win for Clemson. The final score, Clemson 13 and South Carolina nothing. And now the Clemson fans pour out on the field to congratulate their team. And of course, there's going to be a pleasant ride for the head coach of Clemson, 
Frank Howard as he's led across the field to meet Juan Gaze. And to add to all the excitement for Clemson fans, the Clemson Marching Band takes over. And for Clemson, it's a big day. For the Gamecock fans, the cry is, wait till next year. This film of the highlights of the Clemson South Carolina Big Thursday game has been presented by Esso Standard Oil Company. Esso reminds you to drive safely. <laughs>